Justin Willits, I'm a planner with Hart in the Service Development Department. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Arterial BRT project, where we are looking at connecting downtown Tampa with the University of South Florida via Florida, Nebraska, and Fowler corridors, uh, some combination of the two north-south reaching Fowler and the University of South Florida. The major goals for this study are to improve safety and operating conditions along the corridor, improve connectivities for east-west routes, and improve local transit access, primarily for bicyclists and pedestrians, but looking at all the modes and making sure that people can get to our service uh, safely and quickly. Um, bus rapid transit is a technology that operates a lot like rail. It's a bus that operates in its own right of way and not in mixed traffic for as much of the corridor as possible. Uh, some of the other amenities that are characteristic of this type of service are articulated buses that can uh, carry more passengers per trip, uh, potentially bike and scooter parking at our stations, real-time information for arrivals, level boarding to make it easier for wheelchairs to get on and off our services, and a variety of other uh, technology improvements. Um, for our evaluation process, we looked at 17 different combinations of Florida and Nebraska to get to Fowler. Uh, the highest rated of these uh, was the line ball connection, which has the bus traveling north past Bush Boulevard, cutting over to Nebraska Avenue at line ball, connecting to Fowler uh, from there. Um, the evaluation process uh, included all 17 of these alternatives and looked at 10 different measures uh, for how we scored them. Um, those measures were public return on investment, constructability and ease of implementation, safety and mobility improvements, transit operational improvements, supported land use, planning consistency, uh, accessibility and compatibility, and community impacts, and a cost-benefit analysis. Um, this corridor has been studied in a lot of different ways for many years, um, and we're really happy with the alignment that has surfaced through the first phase of this project. Uh, Florida Avenue has been the highest rated corridor in many studies over the years. Um, and like I said, there's a lot going on here, so we've highlighted that all on this map. Um, the Fowler Avenue multimodal corridor studies is occurring. The Heights study occurs from downtown to the river. The T-Barter Regional Rapid Transit Study is along 275 through this corridor. And the streetcar extension, which tees right off into our BRT uh, corridor alignment, um, is also at the south end and in downtown. As I said, uh, the primary characteristic of bus rapid transit is a, you know, operating in its own exclusive guideway. And our goal is to get as much of this service into its own guideway to prevent delay in mixed traffic. Um, at this point of the study, we're confident that we can move forward with a concept that delivers an exclusive transit lane from downtown to Violet Street, where the one-way pair ends and it comes back to a two-way section. At this point, we're assuming a mixed traffic operation from Violet to Waters Avenue, where we would then develop an exclusive median guideway to get to Lineball, where we would cross over to Nebraska, travel north in mixed traffic, and then get into a median guideway, a BRT, on Fowler and Bruce B. Downs. Uh, to a end point in the university area uh, around 131st. And that's really the project as it stands. Uh, we'll be refining this concept and getting some feedback tonight, so please submit your comments uh, below. And uh, we'll be coming back to the public with more information this spring and be putting out some more information and a survey on our website uh, later this week. So we look forward to getting your input, and thanks for your time.